Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt today's scheduled Hamburg video because I've been offered a job interview. Hello and welcome to Club 5, part 22 of Not Only to Legend. I'm Kev and coming up on today's episode... No idea. Um, no, the plan was we were going all the way through to the Hanover and Hoffenheim games at the, after the winter break. However, things have happened and we've had to come back a little bit early. We still might be doing one or both of those games or I might not be Hamburg manager by the end of the episode. Big news number one, though, is the board have given me a bunch of cash. I've got a £32 million transfer budget to take into the transfer window now that opens in 11 days. That's massive news. Also massive news, we've had quite the run of form. We didn't concede a goal in December, um, winning multiple consecutive games. What's that? Five consecutive Bundesliga games without conceding a goal, which has led to us being third place as we hit the winter break, just past the halfway point of the season. We are six points behind Dortmund and ten points behind Bayern, and we're, we're basically the top of this pack that goes from us all the way down to Leipzig in eighth place. And talking of Leipzig in eighth place, they've offered me a job interview. Now, I haven't applied for this job, so this is another one of those where they've offered me an interview. Having a look around at other potential jobs... There isn't a huge amount that tempts me. Um, there were a couple of people in yesterday's video saying, Kev, go to Newcastle. They're in the championship and stuff like that, or um, some of these Premier League jobs. Let me be clear, I'm not interested in a step down from Hamburg. People thought I took a step down from Fulham to join Hamburg. I disagree. I think we've proven by hitting the Champions League and being title challengers as quickly as we have that it wasn't a step down. But I think... I don't think anyone could argue that leaving Fulham, who were in sixth in the Premier League, and joining a Premier League team who were lower in the league, that's a step back from Hamburg. Absolutely. We're not going to win the Premier League with Leicester anytime soon. Jamie Vardy's the favourite for that one, incidentally. So I'm not interested. However, Leipzig, if they can give me enough money, is a team that we could challenge for the Champions League with, I think. If we have a look at their transfer history to see the kind of money that we're dealing with here. So most recently, 53 million spent, 125 out. 93 spent, 15 out. 210 spent, 198 out. They're they're operating in a different in a different financial universe to what we're operating in. If we look at the club reputation, they have a oh actually, oh no that's us. I was going to say we have a four star reputation. Leipzig, I think, have a four and a half star reputation. So they're a higher reputation club. They're rich, worldwide reputation. It is a step up. They are still in the Europa League as well, and they're only two points behind Hamburg in the Bundesliga. Plus, it's the perfect time to go because we've got the 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 December winter break thing going on. Plus, we'll have like two weeks of transfer window before uh, before we have to play any games with them. Leipzig are a team where I genuinely think if we, if they can give us enough money and if they've got another, a good enough squad for us to start off with, we could end up finishing higher than Hamburg this season. We can get Leipzig, get Leipzig into the Champions League and really quali and really challenge for both the Bundesliga and the Champions League within the next couple of years, which. Who knows if we'd be able to do that with Hamburg or not? We know we've got a paper-thin squad at Hamburg. Yes, we've been given a nice bit of cash to spend, but even that nice bit of cash, it feels like a lot of money because of what we're used to at Hamburg, but it's not £200 million, which Leipzig have spent in a season before. So I wanna, I'm i interested to see how much money they've got. I'm interested to see what they've got to say. I'm not, all, I'm not completely decided that I want to go, and I don't think I'm even the favourite for the job, If we have, a, which is mad, really. I should be. Um, this fella, he's always the favourite for jobs that I want. I mean, quite, I'd quite fancy his job if it came up. Um, I'd be quite happy to go to Monaco if the managerial merry-go-round's about to start. And that could be what this episode ends up being. But I don't normally show you job interviews, but we are going to do this job interview because I'm really interested in how much money they're talking about and what their goals are. Because if it's a step up to a big club with a big reputation, with a big bunch of cash then it's the right move, even though I wasn't... I'm, I'm not heart set on staying in Germany. I'd quite like to do a bit more of a tour around the world. But if the right job is in Germany, we'll stay in Germany. Um, 
who never managed a club of our stature and reputation. Well, there you go. They've op- they've opened things up straight away there with a, yeah, we're bigger than you. Um, yeah, I hope I get a chance. We're currently defying, oh, my team's defying expectations. Am I looking to take advantage to move while my stock is at its highest? Did you not see where we finished last year, Ollie? Ollie Mintzlaff? Um, I think, yeah, I've done a good job. Next step. Why have you thought it accepts? I haven't applied for jobs for ages, but I have been in management for ages. Me unable to cultivate a strong dressing room atmosphere. It's interesting that you say that, Ollie. I'm I'm a little confused by that question. Um, let's assume that was a long time ago. Um, I've got a good record of meeting expectations for previous clubs. I have. Um, we've parted company with our last manager sooner than anyone would expect. Well, you sacked him. <laughs> can you? Can I offer you any assurances that you won't sack me? No. Um, I do tend to spend a long time in a job, though, as long as we pretend Bristol Rovers didn't happen. Um, I'm a, I am a motivator. Um, yeah, a, win, a happy squad is a winning squad. I love a director of football. Um, backroom staff, obviously I want to bring David Noble with me if I can. They want attacking football, young players. I mean, that that's me. I'd love to do that. That's exactly what I want to do. Yes, I want to do all of those things. I want this job now. Um, I don't need to worry about any other philosophies. So wage, look at that wage bill. Our wage bill is 1.3 million. Theirs is 3.2 million. Um, yes, we'd qualify for the Champions League. Oh! <laughs> 148 million pounds. Um, yeah, that's realistic. That will do. My word. Please give me this job. Well, oh, oh, I'm the leading candidate. I'm the leading candidate. Does that mean I'm now the favourite? Oh, I want this job. This this is moving very quickly. So, Leipzig, I'm still not the flipping favourite. What is happening? Um, bookmakers saw Chapman as a number of people in contention before news of his interview broke. I was 14 to 1, I'm now 6 to 1, suddenly the leading contender. Oh, I want this job. And apparently, I tend to buy. Italian players. Do I buy a lot of Italian players? I don't know that I do that. Um, I'm after... Oh, am I going to get myself sacked by Hamburg? I've got to seem keen. I'll do the, the second from top one. Right. Now we just wait and see what happens. We see if I get the job. Or if I don't, who does? And where have they come from? And is the merry-go-round about to begin? This could just be a job hunt episode. Oh, I am now the favourite. It's gone down to four to one. Um, the Hamburg board are uh, hoping I'll stay, um, but they haven't offered me any incentive to stay. I'm 46 in this world. Goodness me. I re- I hope this is... Oh, I thought that was a contract offer. I was so excited for a second there. I thought that was a contract offer. Um, no, just... No, you should have given me... You should have backed me in the summer. That is the strong message I'm sending to the Hamburg board. You had the opportunity to give me the £40 million you've given me eventually at the start of the season when I needed it. And then I wouldn't have been thinking of doing this. You had the opportunity and you blew it. We just continue waiting for now. I feel like it's being talked about too much now. I think there's a swerve coming. The fans now want me. So the bookies think I'm the favourite. The fans want me. My board are panicking that I'm going. I'm expecting a swerve that's going to really upset me. It's nearly Christmas. Don't swerve me on Christmas Day. Surely they would want to move quickly in these circumstances. Give me as much time as possible to get ready for the transfer window when it opens in a week. Don't string me along. Give me the job. If I'm the one who's getting the job, give it to me now. I don't want it in the middle of January. I want it now, please. I mean, if you give it... I'll take it in the middle of January too. I hope they're not listening. (laughs) <laughs> no news. How is there no news? We've got a twist to this story, boys and girls. The Chelsea job is available. Obviously, I'm going to apply for the Chelsea job as well. Interesting. Well, the transfer window is open. It's the 1st of January, inexplicably. Still no offer. No interview from Chelsea. No offer from Leipzig. I don't understand the logic. Surely you want a new manager, whether it's me or whether it's somebody else, you want the new manager in place now to make the most of the transfer window. But Chelsea aren't even interviewing yet. 
And Leipzig have sat on my interview for two weeks. I don't know what they're up to. I can only assume they're doing the dirty on me behind their back and talking to somebody else. They'll probably announce David Noble. Somebody give me a job. I'm going to start buying players for Hamburg. And if I buy enough to get excited, then I'm staying and it will serve you all right. Yeah. Very disappointed. I'm not angry. I'm disappointed. Who is Dirk Schuster? Who are you? Where did you come from? Germany. Never heard of it. Well, I suppose that... <laughs> I might... Oh, that's annoying. So, I didn't get the Leipzig job then. Chelsea still haven't come with an interview. I think I'm actually going to have to do a proper transfer window. We're, I imagine at this point we're probably going to play the next game. We'll just do one. I don't want the longest episode ever. We'll do the Hanover game. I might sign a player before then. Um, but full disclosure, I haven't even really looked yet because I was convinced I was getting the Leipzig job. I'm very upset. £148 million transfer budget. It's very upsetting to me. Well, Chelsea didn't even offer me an interview. Perhaps my managerial stock isn't quite as high as I thought it was. I only have a three-star reputation. I guess trying to get into four, four-and-a-half-star clubs with a three-star reputation is a challenge. But how do I increase my reputation? We've overperformed everywhere for years. Very sad. Very sad. I don't think there's any other jobs worth looking at. No. Well, let's go and prove everybody wrong. And qualify for the Champions League again with Hamburg. Win the Europa League with Hamburg. Just let's have a splendid season and do it without these other stinky clubs who don't like us. Now, Leipzig and Chelsea are on my enemies list now. Well, I guess we're going to play a match then. Um, I'm going to save the majority of transfer stuff for the next episode. We have signed one player. I'll show you him. There's a couple of others who are on the verge of coming in. And also one who's probably leaving. Yuki Mori is trying to force through a transfer. He wants to go to a bigger club. Brilliant, Yuki. Thanks for the timing here. And unbelievably hurt her at the bigger club. Twenty-one and a half million pounds is the is the amount I've agreed to sell him for. Um, I have got a replacement lined up who I'm going to try and bring in anyway. Um, but I'll show you him in the next episode if he arrives. But the player we have signed is someone we identified right at the end of the summer transfer window. George Armstrong, twenty-five year old English centre back from Everton. He's cost us eleven point two five million pounds, so a significant chunk of the thirty two million pounds we had to spend. But obviously, if Mori does go as well, um, then that's going to bump that amount up as well. And I'm I'm still hoping to bring in another two or three players, three or four if Mori goes. Uh, but he comes in from Everton. Um, he's a permanently signed centre back, which is an important thing because aside from Berg, we didn't have any of those. Schuster, Emmanuel, and Mariani all here on loan. Um, but I think he's a good value player. We're going to play him a lot in the second half of this season because he's ours and he's going to be someone we build our defence around next season so we don't have to spend the summer signing an entire defence on loan again. So this is the team we're putting out there for the Hanover game. We've got Mayer in goal, a back four of Rubino, Armstrong, Emmanuel and Schuster. Both our starting fullbacks are injured. They are positions that I have offers in for players for. So fingers crossed that in fact I'll show you them. Why not show you them? So um, we've got this guy is the new right back. We're going to try and bring in Alexander Toma. So we've got an offer in for him at the moment. We've got an offer in for this guy as a left back. Masiej Kowalski to come in as a left back for us. Um, and we've also got an offer in for Anthony Malloy, who's going to be our replacement for Yuki Mori if Mori goes. So... Uh, all three of those have got offers in at the moment. I said I'd save it, and I couldn't help myself. Looking at that, I knew you'd all tell me to sign fullbacks. So I had to show you. I, I've been working on it. Um, we've not got Murray in the team today um, because he's suspended. So we're preparing for life without Murray already. Rodriguez and Janicic in midfield. Okafor, Vital and Chaton all in behind. Liam Thorne. West Ham are chasing Liam Thorne this transfer window. Every transfer window, there seems to be a queue of Premier League teams trying to sign Liam Thorne. And I am starting to worry that he might cotton on to the fact that because of the weird way English football works, I don't know that he's getting in the England squad until he goes back to the Premier League. Um, right, let's let's give this a passionate um, 
I fully expect you to go out and win this match, because I do. After all that nonsense, we're all here for the long term. Let's go win the Bundesliga. We're not going to win the Bundesliga. Uh, but I don't know what more Liam Thorne has to do to at least get into an England squad. I think he's 25, 26 years old at this point. Been up there in the top scorers in the Bundesliga for the last couple of seasons. Scoring goals in the Champions League. He was scoring goals in the Europa League before. He scored goals in the Premier League for Fulham before we signed him. I don't know what he has to do to at least get a call up into the squad so that the manager can have a look at him. And I think it's pretty clear what he has to do is go back to the Premier League so that he actually gets noticed. Janicic to take the penalty, to put us 1-0 up. And it is Hanover 0, Hamburg 1 after 23 minutes, which, as it stands, puts us just eight points behind Bayern Munich, which... That's an interesting. I just, I think we'll just win every game for the rest of the season. Now we'll strengthen the squad in key areas. I am going to show the world that Leipzig should have given me the job because I think we are slowly but surely putting together a half decent squad. Well, maybe not squad, but certainly team here at Hamburg. And if we can, if we can spend the money, if we can bring in the players that I've identified this transfer window. And then the key is qualify for the Champions League again so that we can get a similar or maybe even bigger transfer budget for the summer. I think a couple of... Oh, Gordon Bennett. A couple of 40 or £50 million pound transfer windows. And I think this is a Bundesliga winning team because I think we've got the basis of it here already. If we can keep the likes of Okafor at the club, obviously losing Mori is going to be a bit of a blow. Um, but the youngster from Tottenham, Molloy, I think his name was, he's a little bit younger, a little bit better. So I, it'll ultimately end up being an upgrade in that midfield. So I'm I'm confident. I just think we could have fast-tracked the process by going to Leipzig. Right, there's Vital losing out on the ball. Uh, but hopefully we're going to Gagan press our faces off and win the ball back. In fact, it's Rodrigo who wins the ball back. I have noticed he's got an injury, but we don't really have anyone that can come on and replace him with Mori suspended. Okafor cannons the ball into the crossbar. I guess we could maybe bring Matthews on and drop Vital back into midfield if we need to. I don't know how injured Rodriguez is. A thigh injury. We'll keep an eye on him. At the moment, he doesn't seem, fitness levels wise, to be any lower than anybody else. So I think we're probably fairly safe keeping him on there for now. Um, right, let's. I want to keep the passion going. Um, yeah, show the pundits they've been right to say you're good. Because you have been good. Let's let's prove everybody wrong now. I want, I'm, I've decided I want a siege mentality at Hamburg for the rest of the season. None of us are leaving. The world is against us. I never seriously considered Leipzig. I was just there spying on him. I'm Hamburg through and through. Now let's go and... I mean, we just have to finish ahead of Leipzig every season forevermore now. And hopefully Chelsea are in the Europa League and we can draw them and beat them and do it, get a twofer of vengeance. I've, I've, the amount of times... I've tried to motivate my players by talking about getting revenge against other teams. My motivation for the rest of this season now is revenge against the two teams who shunned me. Uh, exactly. We'll put them in their place. And there is a football match going on while I'm in the middle of a rant and we almost conceded a goal. Schuster, collectible, playing at right back today, which isn't ideal, but hopefully we've got a new right back on his way in. And Buckerite's not injured long term. I think it was just like a three or four day little knock which, I mean, he probably could have played, but it's best not to break our players. Right, we are going to make that change we talked about before. Put Vital back into midfield, um, but probably switch them that... No, back. Switch them that way around, because Vital's actually not too bad as a deep line playmaker. Liam Thorne hasn't really turned up today. We're going to bring Canoni on. Canoni is getting better and better. On that little run of games that I showed you way back at the start of the episode, for you, probably only about 10 minutes have passed. For me, that was nearly two hours ago. This is this is why I'm struggling to get this home transfer special out. Non-League to Legends taking up so much of my time. I hope I get that episode out today. If there's no home episode again today, blame this nonsense that's gone on with Hamburg and Leipzig today. It's not Kev's fault. Um... But yeah, Canoni on that little run of games was in good form. I think he's close to double figures for goals for the season now. And he's kind of solved the problem that we had of a backup for Thorne and Okafor because he's capable of doing both. And it's why it's not my number one priority to go out and sign a winger who's not going to play because no one's going to come in and play ahead of Okafor. And I'd rather strengthen in areas like at centre-back, like at full-back, like in midfield, where players who are coming in are actually going to get in the team. 
and give Canoni the rest of the season. And if we get a bunch more money to spend in the summer, maybe look at that position again then. Um, but let's passionately say, good win. Well done, gentlemen. We're still third in the league. We keep our run of good form going, our run of consecutive wins, our run without conceding a goal. Um, he's out for ages now. We need midfielders. Um, and Armstrong's made his debut. What more could you want? Right, let's have a look at when we're going to be back. Um, we'll probably be back for the second leg against Marseille. We'll probably do Schalke and Marseille because that's who we've got in the first round of the Europa League. So we'll play a bunch more Bundesliga games, finish off the transfer window, hopefully bring in some more players and then hopefully start a Europa League run to finish off the season, which will be very pleasant. So Schalke, Schalke, Schalke and Marseille tomorrow. If you've enjoyed that, oh, that's been a that's been a slog. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily football manager videos, and thank you very much for watching.